Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show, Bobby McSquiggum's here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my let's play of Monster Slayers. We have a few different weapons here. I'm going to go with our rust, what is that, our rust guard hammer? And I think we have no, no, sell the jump items. Keep these, it's fine. All right, let's go to the Crystal Caverns. We've avoided this place for quite some time. It's time to go see what it's all about. And hopes that we are to do. able to be victorious. Let's, any more time. let's do this. All right, choose a companion. We can get the thief or we can get a sage. Draw one card and gain seven mana. Guess that's going to be it. So our sage is there. It's Metal Maker. Sure. All right, we have a mercenary. We have a rhino champion. That sounds menacing and not good for us. All right, let's do this. Oh, he is a large chap. You encounter a mercenary who has the exact same deck as you do. Well, that sounds bad. Um, the dust, the sting of destruction. That is not what I wanted to do, but it still kind of worked out. We have retaliated. Did, 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 did. My god, man. Looks like he's not attacking us, which is great, by the way. What is the second uh, sec sorry, second ability here? Uh, take an extra turn. During this turn, your hand size is reduced by two. Seems fairly legit. Um, let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. He's improvising a lot. He's throwing out a lot of basic attacks, but I feel like he's not getting much accomplished. We'll throw five pure damage on him. Do one of these. No retaliation. Do this and that. And that's fine. Ooh, that's going to be pretty impressive. Pure strike. Well, look at him. He's done some stuff. Good for him. Pure Strike says good day, sir. We have defeated the, the Mercenary. It's good stuff. There's a Capitan over here, which should allow us to upgrade. Starting AP, or, you know, I want more starting AP. Uh, there's a Dusa. There's an Undead Barbarian. There is an Altar, which probably isn't great, but we'll give it a shot. Drains your essence. All right, investigate. Uh, you immediately gain 75 gold, but your companion abilities have their cooldowns increased by two. No, thank you. Though not terrible. Let's go try the undead barb. Don't get careless. Okay, start battle. Attack, attack. Attack, attack. Attack. Defend, attack. Yeah, let's go with that. Shield break. Nice. Deal 18 damage though? That's crazy. It's crazy sauce. Alright. Well, of course, it's gonna blitz him right now. And we did it. We got a critical hit. We stole his life, and we managed to get a, a healing potion. Which, again, doesn't make us, like, super amazing, but it helps us. Let's go check out what a druid does. The Northern Valley is home to many fantastic creatures. Would you be interested in adopting my raven? Send a raven to peck the enemy's eyes. Deal physical damage equal to twice the total cards in both discard piles. Ooh. I'm gonna go with the 20 experience. Uh, it does seem decent. Alright. Let's see. Starting AP, upgrade a card. Will work your physical. You gain physical immunity until the start of your next turn, or we can roar. Uh, both of these seem pretty decent. I'm gonna go with the physical immunity. That might have more oomph. Let's go check out the merchant. Uh, beware's... 
hard burn two. Banish this and all remaining cards in your hand. The enemy suffers ignite four for each card discarded. Not bad. Uh, the Eagle Doom Hammer. Not bad. 21% potion drop chance. Nice. Lightning damage per attack and Thunder Slam. Rust Blade Robes. Definitely one that we want to get. H or AP Drain Immunity. Temporary Dexterity. What's this? 8% dodge, not bad. 1 AP per support card played and 4% dodge. Wish I had that. Alright, if we survive, we're going to come back and we're going to grab that right away. Let's go see what the captain has to offer. Alright, on patrol, you can gain 2 starting AP or upgrade a card. I want to upgrade a card at this point. I believe Power Strike is going to be really, really ridiculously important as we go forward. We already know this, though. We defeated the Undead Barbarian once. Can we do it again? Or do we face off against the Rhino Champion? Let's try the Rhino Champ. I'm worried. It's tough hide, resists physical damage, and it regenerates HP each turn. Well, that's wonderful. We're going to defend. We're going to charge up. 4 AP and 1. Damage, damage, and damage. Not a lot of damage done. Well... Oh my god, what? Deal physical damage equal to 20% of your current HP. What? I am terrified right now. What just happened? Oh man, brutal. New card, Venom Strike 2. It's not ideal. Alright, we're gonna do that. This, this, this. The sting of destruction. And. Fortified. Until the start of your next turn, any attacks deal 15% or 15 more damage. Reduce the damage taken to. Oh, more than 15 damage. Okay. We are getting destroyed right now. This is not great. I'm not even sure how we survived this, to be honest. Ability triggered. We get another turn. We'll heal. We'll do another attack. It's like everything we have, we just threw at him. We're no longer able to block anything. We're ignited. Oh boy. This is going off the rails quick. A little bit more immunity here for a little bit. Oh man. Woo! Not great. Oh, we are definitely trying. Well, don't you kid yourself. There's definite trying here. Alright, we're gonna be able to retaliate. Which is good. And down we go. Uh, still can't get through. We did better though, we keep doing a little bit better and I know I should probably stick with one class and just go with that one and then pimp that one out as best we can, but I like trying all the classes once uh, before I, I make my decision on which ones I like the best. So I'm okay with that, we'll try out the Barbarian now, we went with the Knight. Hi Snake, yeah that's fine, we'll accept that. Once again we'll go to the Quagmire Swamp this time around. Yeah. Guess it's time to collect some loot. All right, what do we got? What do we Let's got? Do Who's our companion? A bard or a druid? Let's get the druid. I love the weird looking... Is that a wolf pelt on his head? That's great. Swamp King. Absolutely. Let's go. All right, undead. Let's see what you got, buddy. No problem. All right. That is great at defense. All right, well... All right, uh, attack, attack, attack. And turn. Berserk. Deal 15 physical damage and lose 6 HP. If this would kill you, survive with 1 HP instead. Heal. This and that. Eh, whatevs. Let's go to the Capitan. I'm not sure I like this character 100%, but we'll see. We'll upgrade a card here. Um... Yeah, I guess the power strike is going to be the play. 
Let's go here and see where the healer takes us. Not a lot of great stuff. Alright, we're going up against an undead cleric. Hopefully we do enough damage to take him down. Draw another card. We can berserk murder this guy. There it is. We did level up, which is great. Okay, we can upgrade a card. We can get critical up. Gain 5% critical chance for the rest of this battle. Your next attack is a guaranteed crit or frost strike. Let me go with that. That sounds pretty legit. No. Alright. Oh, he goes first. Alright. Mildly impressive. We'll charge up. We'll gain 4 APs and 1 card. We'll do this. We'll do that. And that. Critical. Not bad. And our critical hit chance is up quite a bit, 5%. I mean, that's better than 0%, so it is quite a bit up. And we just had another critical hit, which is okay. Yeah, we'll recover 15% of our HP, because why not? Not deadly poison. Oh, he's dodging now. No way that's good. The attack, and no dodging. Yay! Alright, merchant! Don't care, I just want to get past. Capitan! Upgrade a card. I'm gonna say we upgrade an attack 2 card. Make it an attack 3 vampire bat. I feel like this guy is gonna be really difficult for me to be successful with. Not bad though. I just feel like he's super weak. This is one that you're gonna have to come back to multiple times, I feel. Alright, attack. Oh, also, I forgot to give him equipment before we started. That's a little bit awkward. Okay, and good day, sir. We should level from this. Ooh, we were down to 1 HP, folks. 1 HP, not great. A hunk of meat. Cover 5 HP, then delete this card and draw a card. Eh. Or glory kill? If the enemy has 15 HP or less, instantly reduce their HP to 0. Recover 25. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Yes, everything about that. No problem. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Well, that, that was a quick murder. Let's go face off against the Zambi. I'm okay with this. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Perfect. Feel the sting. All right. I don't know who I should go after at this point. Let's go to a healer. No. Let's go after a mage. Oh, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Go. I am so totally going to regret this. Start the battle. Big hit. Follow up small hit. Oh, if we can get him down to that threshold, it's going to be glorious. It doesn't matter, really, to be honest. And the turn. We should have him soon. I don't think we die to this. No, we shouldn't die to this. Are you serious? 16 HP? What? Ah, oh, why is that not surprising? Painful and unsatisfying. But fine. Boom! I know we were going to hit the next level. It's fine. Alright, we can delete a card, find an item, or get another card. I'm going to go with that. Okay, let's go face off against our undead counterpart. Start battle! Not a bad start. Not necessarily a great start either. Alright, what we're going to do is this. 
and done. It's a really good combo right there. 30 damage and then it dropped him under the threshold and got the kill and the heal for me. That was literally the perfect storm of things happening. Gain a card. Look at me. No thanks. I mean, I could have had it, but there's real no, really no point. Take him out. All right, vampire bat. Mm. Attack and crit. And I guess we can draw another card. Let's end them, I guess. I feel stronger already. We leveled again. Perfect. Well, I feel like we are definitely making some headway here. Despite not having any sort of um, equipment on other than our basic level 1 weapon, I think we're doing okay. See if you can dodge this. Let's draw a card, improvise, attack, big hit. Let's hope we survive the fallout of this guy. I think we do. I don't see him really causing us too, too much grief. Well, could be wrong, he did a pretty good chain of events there. Can't quite finish him. I got this guy next time, no, no problems. Good? We're good. Okay, I'm wrong. We don't have him, no problems. We have him the following turn with no problems. Come on. Bam! Big old nasty damage. Good. Alright. So we have a healer that we need to go check out, and there's at least three more rooms that we can still go to. Not too bad. An altar. Find an ancient. Does not fear the thunder. Investigate. And gain 75 gold, but no. Thanks. Meat swords up here. What's this about? The guiding philosophy of the Paladin Order is simple. What does not kill us makes us strong. We can get Indomitable. Draw a card. If this card is discarded by another card's effect, draw two cards and recover 35 HP. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, a level 1 skeleton. Yay. Take him out. Uh, maybe we... Let's pull again. Maybe we get lucky enough to... Fine. Draw one card. You guys know what I'm trying to get. You know I want my end all be all card here. Alright. Revise. Block. Eh, let's just kill him. It seems silly not to. Alright, we'll full heal off of you, we'll go delete a card with the other, and then we'll go to the, the shopkeeper. Delete, let's see... I want to delete an attack one. Alright, let's see, view wares. It's probably not that bad. Eh. Starting mana, damage, damage on melee hit. Not sold. No, you know, I'm not going to spend any. We got bleed. Suffer... The enemy suffers bleed three. How, how long does that last? We'll get that. That sounds like something we could definitely get behind. Alright, let's go do some murder. No problem. Alright, we're up against a minotaur. And it looks like we'll probably be okay. We'll charge up. We'll get some AP going here. Draw another card. Draw another another card. Attack, 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 and attack. Significant chunk of damage done there. Also, we got some bleed and other various things. Oh my, we just kind of got annihilated there. Oh, it's not the greatest thing ever. We'll do that. Hopefully he doesn't have as many nasty... Oh gosh, he still has so many of those horrible, horrible cards. Alright, so what do we have? We have 3 AP. Let's do that. Let's 
do this block. Let's do that. Man, he's still he's still fine. Rending hit. What does that even do? Oh, we are so close to death. It is not great. It is not great. I don't see... Yeah, we're not doing any damage. Well, it looks like we're not even going to get out of level 1 with this guy. Yep. And here it comes. Here comes our death. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, there you go, guys and gals. All encompassing, all encompassing a loss in one shot. That's rough. Real rough. Well, all barbarians get 3 HP... Uh, Per turn? I, I don't hate that. Let's get the HP regen. Okay. Select your character. Well, it didn't go super well. We give a, a cleric a Looks shot like now. We could use an extra blade. Sure, we could use an extra blade. We'll get started on this. We'll make sure we actually equip stuff for our gal friend here. Give her the Boots of Awesomeness. We'll give her the Cloak of Protection. We'll give her the Gloves of... something. I don't I don't know. We'll give her the Hammer of Awesome as well. And we'll sell the junk items. Yeah, we're still okay. We're still okay. Plus one physical damage. It's weird that it's a level 5 weapon, yet she can use it now. Not sure what that's all about, but fine. Back to the Elderberry Forest. Ugh, we've just been getting annihilated, guys and gals. This place must be purified. Well, so far I gotta say, I like the rogue, I like the ranger. The knight was okay as well. Not a massive fan of the barbarian. And... Yeah, I guess that's all we've played so far. Alright, who do we get to choose? I'll go with the... Sure. We'll go with a dragon killer. A level one or a level four? Well, well, I think we know. What does Repent do? Gain three mana at the start of each turn. The enemy takes two damage. Can be blocked. Okay. Yeah, let's start with that. Power flows through me. It's an okay start, I dare say. Wow, we just have like nothing but basic attacks at this point. It's fine. There's some treasure loot to be had. Uh, let's gain a card. Ooh, I like that mana shield, sure. Capitan, what do you have for me? Hello. I would like to upgrade a card. Ooh, we can heal. Yeah, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. For one more mana, we can heal. I don't know what we start with, though, per dealy. Gain seven mana at the start of the turn. It takes three. Yeah, let's get that. Because that's fine. All right, let's go face off against the slammy slime. Everyone be careful. All right, everyone be careful. Draw one card. Do some damage. Sit back and chill. We actually start with zero mana, or we use the mana. We must have used the mana. Blade and I feel like well, we were victorious in our little endeavor there. We can upgrade a card, we can get Mana Drain. Deal 6 physical damage and gain 4 mana. I think that's a good idea. I like that. Let's go visit the captain again. We can upgrade our card. Great. Let's get that. Deal 12 and get 8 mana. I like that even more. Alright, I guess we go up against the level 2 individual. I will lead them to their fate. There's an undead knight. Let us start our battle. Attack with a pure strike. Uh, we could heal, but we don't need to heal yet. Let's also do this. He's pretty tanky, so now he's a little bit less so. He's trying to repent. Oh, he stole my healing thing. That's not cool, man. Here, enjoy your five pure damage. Boom! Very nice. Alright, another Capitan. 
to once again upgrade another card. I'm going to say, again, we get three AP out of it. That's cool. All right, we get to go visit our bard, Gaunt Shield. Variety is the spice of life. Would you like to find the inspiration for your own musical masterpiece? Inspiration. At the start of your turn, this is in your hand. All cards in your hand have different names. I don't know what that means, but I want it now because it just sounds weird and interesting. I'm all about the weird and the interesting. Let's go check out the altar. Fear, not fear the, th the thunder. Uh, if you claim this gift, you gain 1 HP whenever you play a card, but your companion abilities have their cooldowns. Nah. Alright, we're gonna go after the rogue. Hopefully our cleric ways are strong enough. Start battle. I don't even know what to say. I don't exactly know what just happened, but you're gonna have a real bad time. Eh. Kind of got annihilated. And we, we healed up from that, too. Very good. Up against the bandit. Let's see what it has to stack up against. I should have mulliganed that one. This isn't exactly the greatest start. That's okay. We'll be fine. And I think we'll even level up off of this as well. Well... He doesn't stand much of a chance, does he? There we go. Alright, starting mana, we can increase that, which isn't terrible. Or we get a power strike, which isn't bad either. I think we're going to do that. Uh, Alright, we got a bunch of level 4s. We have a merchant. Let's go see what the trap is all about. I believe this is going to be where the, the enemy is. Alright. I guess we can draw a card. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Now it's physical damage, right? Damage taken reduced doesn't say physical, so this is not going to kill him. Nor is that. However, we should actually have him this next turn. There we go. We have defeated him! Yay! There's a level 3 spider that we're going to murder! I'll cut them down. Yeah, it's fine. Um, let's go with that. Aha! 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 I guess we're gonna get rid of the mana shield. Aha! There it is! The retaliatory strike of doom! And you're still alive because of course you are. Because of course you are. Meh. I say meh. Let's draw a card. Alright. I was hoping to get the healing one, but that's fine. We leveled up again. We're level 4 at this point. We can delete a card, gain 10 gold, or we can get either one of these two. Yeah, let's get that. The Undead Cleric is an option. Let's go there. And then after this battle, folks, I'm going to break off the episode. Encounter an undead cleric he can heal and use, blah blah blah. We know. We know. Alright, inspiration. So what is this gonna do to me? Uh-huh. It's weird, so we got some new I don't I don't understand. I never do though. Alright, we're gonna do that. Gonna get drawing another card. Venom strike, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And yeah, he is super dead in the next deal here. I hope he doesn't just outright die. Oh, perfect. So I hope he doesn't just outright die to that. Eh, you know what? He'll die to the repent. It's fun. We have defeated the undead cleric. Perfect. Alright folks, that's going to do it for this episode. There's one more to come for Focus Fridays. I hope you guys have enjoyed Monster Slayers. Fun game, guys and gals. I highly recommend you check it out. Like I said, even if you suck and you lose over and over again at the start, it's still pretty fun. And again, it's all part of building it up to make it bigger, better, stronger, 
and hopefully you can get a little bit further and you can learn a little bit more. I am maybe rushing through it a little bit, but I'm also experiencing and trying out all the different classes at this point. So, if everything works out, we might be victorious, but again, I don't know. We'll probably return to either the Rogue or the, um, the Ranger. Those are still my two faves so far. The Knight wasn't bad either. And then we'll, of course, see... Cleric's doing okay. I'm not hating the Cleric, and we can also check out the Wizard soon, so we'll see. Either way, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>